We haven't had a Republican governor in decades, since the 80s, in fact. But one of Washington's most prominent politicians says he has a good chance in 2024. Dave Reichardt sat down with me, and at one point, it got emotional. So why now does he run for governor? What's his stance on former President Donald Trump? And how does he respond to his Democratic contenders who are already coming after him over the abortion issue? We like to um, hike. Uh, we do some water sports. After 14 years in Congress, Dave Reichert stepped away in 2019. Reichert, the politician, may have slowed down, but not the person. I'm in a thought mm -hmm. and the music, and I just have fun. You're it's addicted just... to exercise. Yeah, so I think it's, it's my stress reliever. Four years out of the spotlight, living in Chelan and working in the private sector. But now he is back and wants to be the next governor of Washington state. We haven't had a Republican governor since the 80s, right? We're talking about decades. That must have given you some pause. People have told me this is going to be a real challenge. Why am I here on this earth and it's to serve other people? And that's not what government is doing anymore. He says many pleaded with him to run for years, but it was never the right time, the right political landscape. I, I don't think favorable. So you think it's favorable now? I, I do. Why do you say yeah. that? I, I think that, first of all, it's an open seat. Uh, secondly, uh, I think that the issues that are, are uh, really of concern today uh, of most Washingtonians um, matches with my uh, resume. At the top of that resume, he says, is three decades in law enforcement. He's calling for a renovation of the criminal justice system that he says is often too lax on violent behavior, especially in the city of Seattle. Uh, the city is, to me, uh, you know, I sort of now describe it as Gotham City. It's, it's just, it's dark and dreary. And Some might say that that's an exaggeration, though. I doubt, I doubt that's an exaggeration. I've been downtown. Is it getting better or is it getting worse? In my opinion, from the people that I speak to that live in the city, it's continuing to decline. According to WASPC, statewide violent crime has never been this high. And Washington still has the fewest officers per capita in the entire country. A Washington state set a record that we should be ashamed of. And that is we are dead last in the entire country when it comes to the number of police officers serving. The almost 50% of those crimes are related to or revolve around domestic violence. Reichert says those crime statistics are personal, growing up in a poor and violent household. Um, I was beaten. My mother was beaten. Uh, I had physical fights with my father. Uh, that's my personal experience, and this is why I'm passionate about domestic violence. <clears throat> it hurts you to see other people going through that. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, I, I think it, it, it um, but it touches on so many other things. Um, mental illness, alcoholism, drug abuse child abuse. He says he's driven by the need to protect the vulnerable. That kind of motivation helped him take down the Green River serial killer when he was King County Sheriff, gaining him some fame. From the other side, when's he going to stop talking about Green River? Well, I might tell you. You collect scores and scores and scores and scores of dead bodies. And tell me you're not gonna remember that? As a centrist in Congress, he proved he could work with some Democrats. And as a governor, he says he would do the same thing to bring economic opportunities for Washingtonians and triage the homeless crisis. I think the idea would be to find a facility that we could start to house a large number of these homeless. We need to, we need to some, someone has mentioned McNeil Island as a potential place to house with some remodeling, of course, so it didn't look like a jail, but um, I mean, I would have to look into that. As soon as Reichert announced his run for governor, it took no time for his Democratic candidates to come after him for his anti-abortion stance. I am pro-life. I've never said anything other than that my entire political career, uh, except for uh, in cases of incest uh, and rape and the life of the mother.
But Reichert says he has no plans to change or go after Washington state law that protects the right to an abortion. For some reason, the state law changed and they banned abortion in this state, hypothetically speaking. Would you support that law? No, I would put, I put that vote to the people. You wouldn't support I wouldn't, it? I wouldn't, I wouldn't sign it because I, I just don't think for me as one person to make that decision for the rest of the state, it's, it's not right. As far as former President Trump is concerned, in 2016, Reichert did not support him. But how does he feel about the 2024 presidential race? I had a very difficult time with, with a president who was not kind, who had things to say publicly about people, um, insulting people. It was not the, it was not the example. But um, he's not your choice. Well, no. For the president again? No. You have a favorite so far? No. <laughs> You're focused no, on your... Yeah, I'm, I'm focused on this. You know, buckle up, because we are going to show the nation there is another way. We don't have to be Democrat and Republican. Let's be Washingtonians. All right, Riker joins a growing list of candidates, including Attorney General Bob Ferguson, who is running as a Democrat, also Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz, and State Senator Mark Mullet. Sammy Byrd is the chair of the Benton County Republican Party. He announced his run back in November. Dr. Raul Garcia had previously filed to run as a Republican, but he dropped out to support Reichardt. Garcia says he'll instead run for U.S. Senate. Now, in early May, Governor Inslee announced that he would not be seeking re-election after serving three terms as governor. Washington does not have term limits.